Thank you. New information on a breaking news story we've been following all day. Zionsville police arrested a man for murder this morning. And police say evidence points to 30 year old Graham Bixler as a suspect. And as Fox 59's Eric Graves reports, this isn't the first time he's been accused of violence. The blue house here behind me at the end of this gravel driveway is where Zionsville police say they were called for a welfare check Monday. The woods to the south of the home is where they say they found a body. This is 30 year old Graham Bixler. He's in the Boone County Jail. Zionsville police say he's the man who killed a woman found near this home off West Old 106th Street in Zionsville. Zionsville Chief Michael Spears says it is possible the victim and suspect are related, but the coroner is still working to identify who the victim is because of the state the body was found in. It's a situation where he can't make an initial uh, immediate positive identification. So there's some testing that, that needs to be done. This all started Monday morning when officers were called to the home off old 106th Street for a welfare check just after 11. When police knocked, no one answered the door. Continue to check the rest of the property south of that location and end up finding a deceased female. Graham Bixler was arrested later on Monday and charged with murder and abuse of a corpse. Police have not said what led to this quick arrest. They're also still working to determine how long the body was in the wooded area. Court documents show it isn't the first time Bixler has been violent. A probable cause affidavit shows Graham's father says his son tried to kill him in June of 2023, hitting him and saying his father was not real and he, Graham, was God. We reached out to Bixler's father, but he said he didn't want to talk about the situation. Graham was arrested for domestic battery with injury and resisting law enforcement for the incident. We're looking at the suspect's uh, past activities and, and his use of uh, force or threats of force in, uh, in the past. Court documents in the case show a pre-trial diversion was agreed to in August. Captain Marius Kleiken says at this point they do not have a motive. And like every case, Bixler's mental health condition will be evaluated. If there is mental health issues that go along with this. It's something that will be uh, uh, taken action on there. The last time the Zionsville Police Department dealt with a homicide was almost five years ago in late April of 2019 on the rail trail. Reporting in Zionsville, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.